Hey, this is Colleen Renison uh, from the band No Sinner. I'm Eric Campbell. And this is the AE Review. We're reporting live from South by Southwest in a back alley. I can't imagine what this really sounds like coming through the microphone. There's a million different sounds coming out of a million different doorways. That's what we kind of sound like, too. A million different sounds coming out of a million different doorways, metaphorically speaking. Is that sort of South by Southwest, like, to a T, though? That's kind of the definition of it. It's been the vibe so far, It's yeah. a collage. A collage of people and sounds. Yeah. Hey, uh, Eric's sister lives in Australia. Yeah, hi. Sisters. Hi, Allison and Sarah. They live down in Sydney. As, yeah. as that's where we are as well. So yeah, there that, you go. That's where you guys are? <laughs> I've never been to Australia. Have you? Yeah, I grew up there a little bit, actually. It's uh, my heritage. Yeah, it's my dirty past. So we'll have to we'll have to get you back down there now under, under a new uh, a new guy. Take me to my sisters. <laughs> I haven't seen them in a decade. Really? Yeah. That's not no true. No excuse for that. No <laughs> excuse for that. He's lying. <laughs> Don't lie to the Australian public. That's wrong, isn't it? I guess so. That's naughty. Well, it's, it's not that bad. You just came off the stage at Swing House. How'd the set go? It was fun. We barely, I almost lost everybody. I didn't know where we were going. Um, yeah, Colleen almost died five minutes before, but... Uh, we pulled through. She pulled through. It's a war. It's a war zone out here at South by Southwest. It's, you, yeah. you never know what's gonna happen. The Wild West, man. We almost didn't get here. This lady named Mary picked us up. From, um, she just bought a van. Yeah, and an, we old, all rode an, old, an old hippie mama. <laughs> yeah, she was really funny. She was. She had some road rage. She was telling everybody off. Yeah. Hey, as long as it gets you from point A to point B. So, oh, yeah. is it cool? Like a. Uh, in Australia, it's like South by Southwest, like a thing. Do you guys have anything in Australia that's like South by Southwest? The closest thing is something called Big Sound, but it's predominantly Australian bands that play. There are internationals. But maybe you can, maybe you hey. There we go. There we go. Maybe you could be one of them next year. Well, let, let's, let's pitch it. Let's talk about your band and your music. What are you promoting here? And what can you tell us about the band that'll, that'll convince everyone to send you down? Um... We well, like to play rock and roll. Yeah, rock and roll and uh, blues and soul. And uh, yeah, I think we do all right in Australia, actually. We'd I think we'd like have us. a pretty good time. We'd, uh, we'd drink all your 4X or your, or your VB and, you know, we'd have a good time, depending on where we are. <laughs> well, actually, did you know, um, we have a lot of Australians in Vancouver. A lot of people come and, and go snowboarding in Whistler. My dad included. <laughs> Whistler may as well be, like, an Australian oh, suburb. Oh, yeah. But, it, but it's pretty unreal. Apparently, Australians and Canadians are the best, uh, the most successful uh, international marriages. Really? I don't know if that's a little known fact, but... Interesting. If I, if I, you know, everything goes well with my boyfriend, I won't be looking for a husband when we come to Australia, but you never know. I'll have to ask my parents about that theory. <laughs> hey, they're, they're still together. They're all right, yeah. They just, they just don't let you see your sisters, apparently. Exactly. <laughs> so tell us uh, musically what you're up to at the moment. What's your latest release? What are you releasing? Oh, yeah, we have a, uh, an album that we actually just released worldwide. Oh, yeah, this is our drummer, this Ian. This guy behind the stand here. All right, this handsome, handsome, tall drink of like, tepid you water. Shot, please? Is he in the shot? You're terrible. That's no, whatever. Uh, yeah, we've got an EP. Uh, it, it used to be an EP, but we augmented it for our... European release. We just signed with uh, Pro Vogue, which is a, um, a record company that's based in the Netherlands. Um, yeah, I don't know. If, if you like rock and roll and soul music, you should listen to our band. You may or may not like it, but I hope you do. <laughs> well, I'm sold. I, with that, that was bad, right? <laughs> Get stuck in. Canadians aren't very good salespeople. <laughs> yeah. We're well, mediocre. Well, what, what are some of the bands you guys look up to, I guess? I guess it's a good question to ask as well. I mean, I was talking last night. Uh, most of the music that I listen to is like soul music. It's either like, yeah. I mean, I didn't. I basically didn't listen to any white people growing up at all. Everybody I listened to was black or or wanted to be black. The Rolling Stones did the same thing. It's pretty. It's pretty wild. Like that. <laughs> the the. Um, I don't know. What, I don't know. I don't know. How to, it, 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 I probably the segregation of music has given way to some very interesting collaborations between both sides of that coin. I think you know, um, rock and roll. I mean, Chuck Berry and Bo Diddley, and then, then Elvis Presley. You know, but it, it, there's. 
there's a whole lot of mimicry and, and, and complimenting going on on both sides, I think, you know? And, and um, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> We're somewhere in the middle of uh, everything. <laughs> so, rest of the year, what's it holding for you? Uh, we got another tour coming up, looks like, going across America and then some things in Europe. And then uh, I guess we got to finish an album because we got lots of songs that are... We've been so busy playing and touring and stuff that we haven't been able to finish this album that we've been working on for the last year and a half. Um, yeah. Pretty excited about about um, being on the road, but really excited to hunker down and, and um, I don't know, did they say that in Australia? Hunker down? I don't even know what oh, that yeah. means. Do they? No, maybe not. I'd say so. Yeah, it, we're looking forward to recording again. Fantastic. Well, I hope South by Trees. Well, how many more shows have you got? Four or something. Eight. Ten. Who knows? I'm not counting. I don't, I don't even. I don't even. It's been like one long day. We've been here for like a two days, but it just feels like one really long one. We'll probably keep feeling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well. Best of luck with the album, best of luck with South by. Thanks for taking the time. AU Review. Thank you, Australia. Peace out, no sinner.